Hi everyone, this is Hiba from My Little Journal, and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 22, 2020, and I am focusing on one day, uh, my son's graduation, or quote-unquote graduation. They had a drive-in kind of thing, and it was really special, so I decided to just document that day for week 22. Now, I'm going to be using cards from Studio Calico, I don't think these are all from the same kit. I just went through my older kits and I'm just choosing cards that I thought would work well with what I'm documenting. I love that four by six title card and I'm kind of building off of that. I will end up backing up one of my three by four photos. And once I choose my cards, I'm gonna move on, put, set my layout aside and start working on my title card. I will just end up adding week 22. I believe I used my Citrus Twist Week stamp set, if I'm not mistaken. Stamp out week. I'll also stamp 22 using my Everyday Explorer Calendar Days stamp set. Add a few puffy hearts and call it done. I ended up using I believe my close to my heart ink pads for this spread and I love that mink color because it matched really well with my title card. Next up I'm going to trim down this photo just one side. I'm going to back it up with this 3x4 card. I love doing this to use up my cards. I tend to not use a lot of cards on one spread. So I like to kind of back up one photo or so just to bring in some color. And I can always add like a word sticker like I'm doing right now just to add a little interest to my photo. So I had three cards for this pocket and I decided to go with this like striped one. I thought it was it worked well for my title card. So what I'm going to end up doing is grabbing my Studio Calico graduation stamp set and stamp the circle in gray because I couldn't decide and I stamp it in black and I actually like the gray more but I also like the boldness of the black. So what I decide to do is just stamp 2020 in black you know, right on my gray circle and that circle just had like graduation class of 2020 or something like that that way i can bring in the black and the gray i'm going to go ahead and trim that out and add it to my card and create kind of my own filler card now i wanted to bring some color to this card so i go through my puffy stickers i found this flower it is such an old puffy sticker sheet. I think it was from Feed Your Craft. And I love that flower. It brings in like a hint of color. So I ended up just adding it to the side of my circle. Moving on, I had journaled on this photo of my son. Uh, he spent most of the drive-in from the sunroof of my car. So I journaled about that, added a little chipboard, and I'm going to stamp the graduation cap right in the center. Now this graduation camp is also from the Studio Calco stamp set, but when you stamp it, you lose the lines. So what I'm gonna do is just use my white jelly pen and fill out those lines so you can see or you can tell that it's a graduation cap. Now I have two four by six photos here. I wanted to add some journaling and I wanted to document those two photos. So I'm gonna create a flip pocket here. I'm going to stamp graduation and I believe drive-in. I'm gonna stamp out drive-in with some Studio Calco Alpha stamps and then take this to my typewriter, add my journaling. And once I'm done, I'm going to create my little flip pocket. I've shared so many times how I create flip pockets. I use washi tape. I use uh, like little paper pieces of like a uh, scrap paper and create hinges for my flip. And I believe this time around I use some paper. I just literally trim it down. Now you can trim it down for the length of your four by six photos or your flip. But sometimes I make them smaller because I don't want to waste my paper, I guess. And all I do is just add tape to one side, stick it to the back side of my photo 
tape to the opposite side of that little hinge, stick it down to my other photo that's gonna be kind of um, at the top of my flip. Then I will stick down my card right over my photo and I create a little flip pocket for myself. It works every single time, very easy, very simple. Moving on to my next four by six photo here, I'm just gonna end up adding an Everyday Explorer sticker and I believe probably a puffy heart just to bring in some color to my black and white photo. And I'll also be adding one to my three by four card just to bring in more red. As you can see, I have little hints of red here and there, so I wanted to bring it to the opposite side of my spread. I'm gonna finish up my layout by adding congratulations to that photo of my son. And I thought I would use some Kelly Perky alphas for this. Now, when I started spelling it out, I left a little space on the edge thinking it would fit, but I get to the end and I notice that it will not fit. And you'll see in a bit where I notice that's not gonna fit. So I have to move all the alphas down <laughs> and redo this, but I'm not gonna make you watch me do this on camera. It's just boring, but I do move down all the alphas. So my congratulations would fit on this photo. But that's about it, you guys. I am kind of behind on my project life. I'm gonna be sharing more project life layouts because I'm trying to catch up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.